Okay, what is up guys? Today I've got OnePlus 10 Pro and I would like to show you how to update your firmware in case you have Indian, Europe, global version but with a root permission. How to update it to the newest version. This guidance is actual for Android 14 and first of all I will show you how I will do it. So I've got my device on Oxygen OS 14 and the new version is available, which is uh, my phone is actually an E2211 and version 402 is available. Now I have version 300 and 402 version is available. So what you should do to actually update it, saving your root permission. So first of all, you need to open the version, version number and Okay, enter the screen password, I will enter it of course. And now you're a developer, so you need to have developer permissions to do it, I have it. Then you need to update the software update app here. I already downloaded the update version, I am using the Indian version of the Oxygen OS. I already downloaded the full version and put it in the root of my phone also. You just need to activate the developers mode, no need any settings here, as I showed to you. Just keep the developers options uh, on, like this. And then you should go to the apps and clear, oh wait a second, apps here. App management, show system apps, software update. You need to open the storage, clear data. But before this, please disable Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and 4G, like 5G LTE services. So your phone should not have access to the internet at all to update it properly. So after this, um, also before this already updated, uh, downloaded update using the Oxygen Updater. Here, what you should do is change the settings. So the settings should be, it's not visible now. Okay, let me activate Wi-Fi to check it out. So you need to download the full version, basically update method full version new here. So download and just copy to the root of your phone. So I'll disable again the Wi-Fi and finally open software update. So here I've got local install available. Let's select local install. Then find the file of update. Android 14 the version as you see and click extract. So uh, it will take some time. You need to wait for extracting. Actually it will take I guess around 15, 10, 15 minutes. And before this, be careful, don't touch anything. So once extracting is over, don't click reboot. First, what you need to do, I will show you later on how to keep your root. Also, before this, I suggest you to open the magic here and just disable all of the add-ons that you are using. All right, so let's close it for now waiting for extracting once it's over i will be back to you so basically extracting is over now the verification stage is going really fast so once it will reach the 100 percent you don't need to click install or verify you need to just uh, close this app of update i will show you how to do it and actually when you close it what you need to do is to uh, to reinstall the Magisk app before you update because if you click update your Magisk app will be removed and you need to do and perform the root operation one more time so currently it's finishing 93 95 all right so actually it's done install you shouldn't click install just scroll down open the magisk app here then you need to click on install install to inactive slot okay install 
after it's done, don't click uh, here to reboot, but just move to another app. Just move back to settings to install here and click install. So after this, it will be rebooted and then let's open it up after it's rebooted. All right, it's rebooted, so let's check it out. New version is installed. We already see here this indicator of the automatic brightness, meaning that we have the newest version. Okay, let's turn on Wi-Fi version. All right, as you see here, we've got the latest version 14.00.4.02, which is the latest one. And I, I will make the separate review of it later on. So here is already main uh, update. It's automatic brightness bottom is back. And let's check it out. Let's check it out the Magisk. The Magisk is installed. So we save the root. We can activate now all the modules here that you're using, restart and everything should be great. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. If you still have some questions, put it in the comments below, put a thumbs up and see you next time.